hey what's up we're in the next part all right i was explaining in the previous part i was about to explain how i use these creams um these serums all right first i washed my face i told you guys that i washed my face with this baby all right uh every single day like without fail i know uh, the instructions here say differently but i do my own thing because i do whatever god kind of leads me to do i use this in a musky kind of way as opposed to like just a face wash i wash my face first with this for the first like da -da -da -da, wash it off straight away within like 20 seconds wash it off and then i go in for a second kill and this time around i just let it stay on my face while i wash my whole body and when my whole body is clean i then uh rinse it off that's what really sloths away at the dead skin cells and makes my skin feel really great some people might say god well that's excessive exfoliation but <laughs> this is what it's done for me so and I told you that this stuff, I also utilize it for the purposes of anti-aging. So I kind of wanted to stay on my face for a little bit longer. Plus, I do have an issue with uh, acne. I had a history with it. So the cleaner my face, the better. Um, that's what I do. And then once I'm all dry, uh, I then go in with the serums. I started out initially first applying... Cause I went online again to find out how to apply serums uh, uh, actives on my face how do I layer them blah blah and I took advice from these two doctors because I did not want my skin to burn I don't want irritation I've already got too much that I'm suffering with in life who else who needs also skin irritation over and above it and just looking all red and nasty so I mean I don't really I wouldn't look red as a black woman I would just look probably super dark because it would just burn my face anyway whatever so I decided to apply all of my moisture and everything that I needed on first including my treatment for acne and then I'm put the serums on the literally surface on the top uh, and I know that usually people say that use hyaluronic acid or actives or whatever first and then put moisturizer but I was like I don't want to burn so I'm gonna put a layer of moisturizer first and then I'm gonna put this stuff on and I was like eh, whatever and I, I didn't really see a difference uh, but I figured uh, these things take time anyway to show results so whatever but then something told me after like three days of doing it like this i was like okay let me experiment for one day if i burn we are dropping them like a hot potato because i saw i freaked out at the percentage of hyaluronic acid not hyaluronic sorry but the of retinol 2.5 i was like it's too high but i was like you know i let me try it just for one day what, what's it gonna kill what's it gonna hurt and i did i i first go went in with the vitamin c serum okay a uh, little bit of a drop uh, some people like to use the pipette on their faces but I just put it in my hand and literally apply it dab style and moisturize style the way that you would put moisturizer because I'm lazy I don't have time to be doing things like I am doing an advert for some cosmetics brand or right? not no right i first go in with the vitamin c and then I let it dry like completely absorb into my face um and then i went in with the hyaluronic acid after that's how i do my layering some people might be like oh don't do it like that some others might even be wincing but this is what i did and this is what it has done for me okay hyaluronic acid i went in with it also a, a, a teardrop size in my palm I and mean, then just apply it like generously all over the show let it dry maybe even stand there just doing this and then once it's completely dry go in last with the retinol again teardrops amount in my hand let it dry okay uh let it dry uh that's just that that's the three-step process there's a step in the middle before i apply moisturizer maybe i should just go in right ahead and explain to you what the third step is because there's another serum that i bought okay Yes, I apply four serums first. This over here, right? For it's called a stretch mark and scar repair serum. All right, stretch mark and scar repair serum. I wanted this uh, serum for basically whatever little scars that I might have on my face that I'm not happy are just like staying there. Ever since getting a whole bunch of acne on my face, um, I've noticed with age that my skin does not regenerate as quickly as it used to. Like I used to very easily just overcome dark spots and hyperpigmentation and what that would be dark spots. But what is this like you know acne scarring it, it would just leave like it used to just leave like i i'm not the kind of person to have be left with scarring on my face when acne disappears but it's, it's been hanging out for a little too long i think it has a lot to do with age all right uh, i'm not as regenerative as i used to be so i bought this for that to like fade my acne scars even more and faster so i got this serum i experimented with it since it was so cheap okay 
It's called, um, what is it? Estelin, lavender essential oil extract, whatever, stretch mark and uh, scar repair serum, face and body. I don't use it on my stretch marks, on my bum or whatever. I use it on my face only, okay? Because I ain't got no money to be using a serum that is like 30 milliliters little uh, on my butt. Like, what in the world? It's okay. Like, <laughs> the stretch marks are a sign of femininity. Amen. Like, we're just leaving them there to hang, all right? Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do that. On, I just use it on my face, but I got this because of the excellent ingredients in here that I would not mind on my face as well, just to nourish my skin, just to nourish it with some like you know natural ingredients. Like what, like what could it hurt? Um, it has. Listen up. Oh, it was 75 rands. Just putting that out there. Like this, I I feel like there's nothing over a hundred bucks at that store. Anyway, whatever. Right. Oh, first of all, apparently this is what apparently does, and I, I'm gonna say apparently with a pinch of salt because I feel like it has worked because I've noticed like significant change difference in the quality of my the texture of my skin but it might be the hyaluronic acid under these serums or it might just be the fact that this serum is working wonders anyway whatever so apparently it smooths and tones scars and stretch marks improves uneven skin tone fades dark spots eliminates acne scars that's why I was gunning for it moisturizes and lightens skin complexion removes dead skin cells helps tighten pores visibly reduces fine lines and wrinkles so ingredients that's why I choose anything I told you guys that right uh, aqua that would be water glycerin propylene glycol erythriol butylin whatever this stuff is like everywhere right and then portulaca or Rasha extract whatever that is Centelena asiatica extract whatever again that is popigonum capsidatum root extract so this is where it starts to become natural um ingredients right and then scuter ooh, scutellaria bike root extract again camellia leaf extract okay whatever glyceriza lava root extract okay ca okay now this one i know it's chamomile flower extract chamomilla rich whatever flower extract rosemary definitely i recognize that rosmarina officially leaf extract whatever glycerol as acrylate acrylic acid colipoma p whatever okay uh poly okay all these other ones guys whatever it's some weird like scientific terms that i'm not even interested in reading and then aloe bar bar oh, aloe 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 <laughs> <laughs> tree thalonamine uh okay aloe leaf juice oh mel to whatever okay sodium hyaluronate polygamic acid so oh, oh, oh. okay look lots and lots of these ingredients really just kind of wreak havoc in my um in my understanding all right like yeah it's like a little bit of a tongue twister but i was getting for all the natural ingredients and since i consume them in my body i drink them every single day and i barely have any skincare um like products that are made of natural extracts like you know grapefruit or like strawberry or moringa or i'm looking for like this like what do you call it uh, blueberry extracts since i don't have products on my face that i use currently that have got natural extracts other than and aloe itself like the leaf itself uh, since I, I don't have any such thing I figured this might really go a long way to you know nourish my skin in the same way that I nourish my body internally it's like putting the stuff in my hair you know what I mean and I've got stuff that goes in my hair that's got all these beautiful things in it so how about my face instead of just things that read with a scientific name only so that's why I got this because um, I'm, 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 a, I'm a massive proponent of natural things for the body because they're God's gift to us all to find healing and whatnot right anyway whatever cool bees and bananas so i was like i'm gonna use the serum to see if it will it will indeed fade my like uh acne scarring and whatnot and guys it has it ha i feel like it, it's only been a month i've only been using these things a month so what i do then um with this monstrosity is after these three serums and i'm completely dry i then go in again with a teardrop size amount on my palm and i you know rub it all over my face until it's completely dry it's a serum uh, so therefore I don't really have to oh it says here the future lavender essential oil extract can effectively inhibit bacteria it's mostly about um, lavender here I don't know which of these ingredients are oh, here lavendula angufistolia flower who the thunk it whatever look um, these um, 
sorry, this thing over here that I, I utilize just ubiquitously all over my face I, because it has apparently oils in it, essential oils. I was scared that, you know, what is the word that I'm looking for? Oh, Lord, bring it to me. I'm thinking that's why I'm looking towards the left. Um, I was concerned about why is the word leaving me? Like, you know how coconut oil is called? I can't believe it. And it just left me like it was literally there. And I'm not letting it go. What in the world did I just do? Oh, what? Oh. Thank you, found it without even Googling co comedogenesis. I was concerned about the comedogenesis of of the lavender essential oil like i do not i've already got some pretty oily skin um more on the oily end than not type establishment thing so i was concerned that this would be highly comedogenic because of the oils in here uh so it would like break me out even more and i was like what i'm dying what's going on but i experimented anyway and i told myself that if i break out that would suck i have to start from scratch again to get rid of the acne i'll take this out of the um skincare routine and by the amazing grace of god really nothing happened i did not well other than the correction of my situation uh, it's a serum it, it doesn't actually have a texture an oily consistency you know it feels like a serum so maybe that's why i'm not breaking out but i do use an oil on my face and i'm gonna get to that and still i haven't broken out and i attribute that to everything that i'm in, in, in consuming internally and the fact that just the combination of everything that i'm using is working out for me all right so this is what i go in with last right in terms of serums and then my face is like super dry i then come the side i store these in the house in room temperature so it doesn't get all hot and bothered and what have you and then i go in with um when i'm done that's when i apply this gel my aloe leaf i just kind of break off the top part here that's already seen some air and some degeneration then i cut it off open it in half and just slather it all over my face and it's like through my favorite part of skincare oh i love it i love the way that it just kind of like you know hangs on my face and i can feel my face like drinking it you know like it's thirsty and it's like <laughs> that's drinking it mm. so i apply the aloe and then when the aloe is dry i go in with the next thing that's going to take you off your chairs and you're gonna faint let me show you so let's put this away we've told you where we purchased this monstrosity this guys this is by far the most ridiculous purchase that i found at this store by far so got december uh entering into jan yeah let's just say got december entering january there was a sale uh, of cellotone products at Diskim just to get rid of them because the Christmas, you know, the the three in one, ten in one deals that you get during Christmas for pres presents, basically. Yeah, when people don't buy all of them, they then like ridiculously mark them down like no man's business. Yeah, well, I went to Diskim around Jan, beginning of Jan. It's currently like April, Jan. Yeah, it was like it was definitely around festive season, not festive, sorry, just after festive had ended um and it was that post festive sale season and everything was chopped in half like getting price to clear basically and i went and i bought what i needed there at the disc game right and i happened upon this you know like starter pack box but it was a different one got december it had two uh tissue oils and snail extract gel right yeah and i looked at this con called this combination it was going for 200 and like 300 bucks for two tissue oils and this and a 50 milliliter is it milliliter yeah 50 milliliter snail like what do they call it snail extract gel from the skin right this christmas box was priced to clear i did not look at the individual prices of the things inside the box on the shelf uh, for me it was like oh okay like i've always heard like rave reviews about snail extract so since it's on sale and it also comes with two uh, tissue oils next to it maybe i can rub those on my bum stretch marks instead of on you know instead of like that other one like you know because a little goes a long way type thing i was like i'm gonna take it i can afford to like you know just kind of go on like on, out on a limb and risk it because it's so cheap it was 300 bucks the three in one thing ne go this game got jen this year 2023 you guys like <laughs> i started using the snail gel it's currently okay guys as you know i've been thinking that these products uh have lasted me a month but it's over a month i mean we're in april i bought all the stuff in jan what am i talking about one month they've lasted me almost two months 
two, maybe three, because we're like the begin. No, what? What? Are you serious? Are you literally crying out loud? Serious? Was it in Jan or Feb that I put these? I don't know. But that's how long these things have lasted me. We're currently in April. Anyway, whatever, right? The snail gel that I bought at the beginning of the year. Let me grab. So uh, it came in a box like this. Ne? This snail extract extract gel. Yeah, 50 milliliters. As you can see over there, 50 milliliters. Mm -hmm. It came in the center. Like as you can see, this packaging over here. There was it was in here, and then there was this tissue oil, and then there was another tissue oil next to it. The other one is of course still sealed. I've put it away because I am yet to use it. That's all the amount of tissue oil I've used so far. Not too much. All right. So this is gonna last me all year long, really. Maybe even two years, frankly. Like both of them together. Mm. So it came one, two, and this was on the side. Three of them for two hundred and ninety something bucks, like almost three hundred rands at the discount. All right, and I bought it. I was like, mm, let me see. Oh, let me just experiment. Plus, I'm trying to clear my what do you call this? My dark spots, and I also want to get rid of my uh, my, my acne scarring and whatnot on my face. So, like for me, it's about like when you come real close to me, you can see what well, I had acne when I went Right, so I wanted to flatten all that out. So that's why I was looking at this. Uh, tissue oil but for me this i was gonna experiment with it because apparently it's very hard knock when it comes to anti-aging and what have you so i was like whatever like let's you know yeah and i didn't even think i thought that this was the extra side piece thing whereas the main things that i was looking for were the tissue oils okay cool fine so i buy these got december no not january feb jan feb feb jan january feb around there in a package of this nature go home go home all right sister go home I'm cool, I experiment with my products, whatnot. So my skincare routine ever since then has been this. After I put that aloe vera uh, that I get from the garden, that one is nice and free, okay. I then go in with the snail extract gel. Guys, I've had this since February or Jan late. Late Jan at the earliest, February. And so all of Feb, all of March, we are currently in the, I think, 12th of April. So it's been two and a bit months, right? That I've been using these things and it's been good. Like I haven't been running out of anything and I've been sorrowful that I'm gonna run out of them and then next thing my skin's gonna start to like fall apart. Especially considering this was the most expensive thing that I bought experimentation experimentally because I could afford to, because I told you that I was enabled quite well, quite handsomely last time. Yo, guys, this smells lovely. I like it, right? So that's how much I've used in two and a bit months. Two and a bit months. So it's basically pretty much at the end of itself, almost, okay? Like, I think I've got another month left here. Another month, given how slowly I use this this um, stuff, right? I, I just used it. I just put it on. The instructions on here say that you must put it on after washing your face, but I know that I gotta put my serums on first um, before anything. So I put my serums on and then the snail extract gel. But before then, I'm not leaving this out for anything because it has helped with acne it has done a lot for me I, like this stuff has done a lot for me all right acne tightening pores blah 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 so i put this uh, garden leaf on and then after it dries i put this on and when i put this on i get a tingling sensation so i don't know if it's an active or what's going on in it but it just does stuff right very well and i've been doing it two and a half months two and a bit months nah that's what's good and then when i got enabled this time around we like just like a week ago two weeks ago nah i made mention that that's been a thing we're not gonna wrap on some extra time more to let you guys know how that even happened because we already explained in my previous parts anyway whatever right i go to the disc camp on some i'm broke i'm always broke and i know that whatever i purchase now it's gonna last me months like as in two three four before god you know helps me out again in some way i gotta get what i feel has been working for me so far when i look in the mirror especially in the mornings after waking up i'm like mm, i'm seeing a difference whatever i'm doing is working like literally i've been saying whatever i'm doing is working so i went to the disc camp to try and buy this again but this time around i was trying to go i get it i've got more than enough of this left the the, the tissue oil i went to the disc camp to buy this this recent time around i went to the disc camp to buy this guys let's move to the next part i've been speaking for too long 20 minutes